The EBF Novices Handicap Hurdle is next, and we've only got two this time. So I thought it was bad enough, I only went three in the race before, but this time we've only got two. And two of the same competitors, if you like, because Richo Boreas at the top for Martin Leedham, Native Tongue for Obi-Wan. So just Craig Beckwith missing from the last race. And Alex Cherry's got to watch it again. And it's me and Obi-Wan. Here we go. Off we go then. And... Richard Boris has already won a two-runner race this season, and that was a chase, a nice chase, and the other horse in that fell, and just to sort of tie things up with the last race, that was Craig Beckwith's horse on that occasion, so well, the same thing happened today, or will Obi-Wan get the better of me this time? In the last race, Obi-Wan's horse was the one that fell, and Native Tongue has gone off into the lead, and has quickly put six lengths between himself and Richo Boreas, who in truth is really a chaser. Well, this was just too good an opportunity to miss. I'm really shooting myself in the foot here by suggesting that people have a bit of a scoot round the race cards at about four o'clock Friday afternoon if you get a chance, because you can sometimes swap your horses over and get them into races where they might have a bit of a chance. Well, it's not necessarily possible for everybody, depending what part of the world you're in or what sort of work you're doing, but if you get the chance, it's well worth 10 minutes to just scoop through to look for these little fields because I've got no intention of putting Richo Boreas in this race until I saw he only had one runner in it. So, anyway, we'll see what happens. Native Tongue in the lead. Richo Boreas. I've got 10 lengths back in second. And they've got two miles to go. And the order is still the same likely to stay the same for quite some time considering the amount of lead that Native Tongue's got. As they get over the fourth. And Richard Boria jumped that one quite quickly and has cut the lead down to six lengths now. But Native Tongue bowling along nicely in front. Richard Boria second as they take the fifth. Just, I don't suppose anybody is going to be watching this who's not in it already. Really, really, really going to be, like I said, only me and Sirius watching it, and probably Alex Cherry. Um, I'll try and get some people who are on the flat to chuck some horses in the jumps because we really are undersubscribed with runners. We get to some of these big handicap races later in the season, and they'll attract the majority of the horses, and we're going to get lots of two, three, four, five runner races, I think, so we could do with an influx. So spread the word if you can. And let's get a few extra people in as they skip over the seventh. With his native tongue in the lead, which are Boreas in second at the moment. We're looking at we might only get a grand national field or we might get a grand national field under 30. In fact, I think if every trainer that's in puts two in, we still won't quite make the 40. I'm pretty sure there's only 19 active trainers in the national hunt sphere. But it's native tongue in the lead. Richo Boreas in second. As they get over the eighth. And native tongue. The lead is down to a little more than two now. As Richo Boreas gets a little bit closer. Native tongue, two lengths to the good. Richard Boreas, second, four flights to take. The leader just been niggled along to keep up to his work. Jockey having a little look around to see where the opponent is. Probably better off just concentrating on himself. We saw the other day, Jockey spent so much time turning around that he ended up losing. But now Richard Boreas comes up on the outside of Native Tongue, who immediately responds and has got the rail as well. So that should be a benefit and quickly gone three or four clear again. Now what's Richard Boreas got in response to that? He's immediately come back up to within half a length and they pass the four furlong pole and come down towards the next. And Richard Boreas pokes its head in front for the first time. Native Tongue is now fighting back on the inside as they rake their way towards the next flight. They're swinging towards home now then. 
and it's Richo Boreas on the outside, Native Song on the inside. They're both under pressure. You wouldn't say either one is going particularly better than the other one at the moment as they race down towards the final couple of furlongs. Over the third last they go, Richo Boreas just a little bit quicker over that flight is now two lengths clear. Native Tongue is in second. They've still got two flights to take though, and Richo Boreas comes to it, takes that one nicely. Over it in second was Native Tongue a little bit slower. Richo Boreas is now three or four clear, looking like he's only got to pop the last. He does so. Jockey had a look round, and Native Tongue's got nothing left, and a pretty easy victory in the end for Richo Boreas racing up towards the line. Richo Boreas takes it pretty cosily from Native Tongue in second. We go a three winner race followed by a two winner race. What we're going to get next it's Richo Boreas, the winner with Native Tongue, who actually went off favourite about four lengths back in second. So there it is then. Quick look at the card in the match race the EBF Novices Handicap Birdle. Richo Boreas was the winner for Martin Leadham, and Native Tongue for Obi Wan was second.